In this lesson, we're going to continue by looking at the consolidation of Bolshevik authority. We're going to look at ideas such as the economic crisis that occurred following the end of the First World War, the introduction of war communism, and then the use of terror uh, that Lenin implemented and that eventually Stalin would carry on. So as an introduction, as a little introduction, we're going to have a little look at the sort of problems that the Bolsheviks had at the start of following the Russian Civil War and then, sorry, the Russian Revolution and then into the Russian Civil War. So the problem the Bolsheviks had was that they were a minority. They were still a minority at this point, okay? They couldn't consolidate their authority without mass support. So because the, their idea of a, a workers' revolution from the bottom they needed mass support for that to be for that to be implemented and they were also facing a lot of criticism following the treaty of brest-litovsk and now the treaty of brest-litovsk if you remember was the treaty a uh, peace treaty a peace treaty with germany peace treaty with germany and if you don't remember from the last video it was also a treaty that was particularly harsh so a very harsh treaty very harsh treaty okay and so due to the harsh treaty the fact that we had a russian revolution and the fact that russia had been at war for the last three years we started to develop in 1918 we start to see the 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 economic collapse of russia so by 1918 there was face uh, they were facing an economic uh, collapse an economic crisis not enough grain was being transported into the cities and into the for the industrial workers okay this was a big problem and it was a problem caused by two particular reasons one being the disruption of transport during the first world war and there was also the seizing of noble land which led peasants to do something called subsistence farming and this is basically only farming for your own to live within your own means so farming farming to live within your own means as in farming to only eat to only have as much as you need and not as everyone else so to live within uh, your need your means this was problematic, seeing as if everyone, if all the farmers were only farming enough for themselves, then there wasn't going to be enough for industrial workers in the cities. So this meant that they had very little to sell to big cities. There was also no incentive to sell, because the workers offered very little in return. So we start to see a little bit of a, a little bit of a, 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 dis, a disjunction between the urban uh, economy and the rural economy, and the sort of way that those two, their relationship between the two, start to break down. The situation got worse when food riots began, and then workers would begin to flee the cities in search of food, which would then in turn lead to a labour shortage, which is something that was more problematic in the long run as well so all of these things it was like a chain reaction so there was no food coming in from rural areas to the in, to the industrial areas this led to the industrial areas starving and that led to them leaving the industrial areas and trying to search for food outside the cities and thus leading to uh, labor shortages within the cities so as a result we start to see how Lenin began to implement his idea of war communism to develop uh, and to effectively stop the economic crisis of 1918. So as the Russian Civil War developed in 1918 the Bolshevik Reds were pitted against the non-Bolshevik Whites okay and there was a need for a strong economy uh, it became more and more apparent because they went from one war into a civil war the army needed to be supplied with food and weapons oopsie daisy the army needs to be supplied with food and weapons and it's for this reason that the bolsheviks had to adopt a more centralized system of government if you go back to the last video i talk about how lenin's ideas and lenin's ideology might not have been the sole driving factor for the policies that were implemented some suggest that it was more a necessity for a centralized government that led lenin to implement it rather than lenin's personal ideology and this can be seen here when we look at the development of the russian civil war and this policy became known as war communism 
and it had a few uh, few features. So we had things like grain re requesting, requesting, if I can uh, pronounce words. Okay, we had the nationalisation of all industry. Okay, this which meant all industry put under state control. There was an imposition of factory discipline, and there was also food rationing, and you can also you can almost see the ideas of communism sort of bleeding into these into this um, policy of war communism when you have most of the food going to red army soldiers and the least amount of food going to the upper classes almost like a punishment of the upper class so a punishment a punishment on the upper class this greater um, sort of state control of the economy did have its benefits because it was able to implement an economy that was able to fund and um, feed uh, a civil war and then that would ultimately lead to the Bolsheviks becoming uh, victorious. Another reason why the Bolsheviks were victorious in their consolidation of power was the use of terror which was known as Red Terror. Okay, So it's seen as a very controversial part of Lenin's rule for obvious reasons Lenin himself justified it as a necessary survival for the regime so he believed that the use of terror was necessary for the survival of the regime this is a you know a very often dictatorial cop out however this is what Lenin believed terror was targeted at the peasantry okay and they were forced to hand over grain to uh, red army soldiers etc uh, thousands of peasants were arrested, imprisoned and executed. This use of terror was a political tool created by Lenin, but was implemented more and more by Stalin following Lenin's death. So the use of terror, people believe that the use of terror was, began under Stalin. It actually began under Lenin and was developed more by Stalin in the long run. So with the combination of war communism and the use of terror, the Bolsheviks were able to uh, establish authority and win the civil war. And then in the next video, what we're going to do is move on to how Stalin was able to uh, take over the Bolsheviks or the Communist Party at this point and, you know, develop after and develop on Lenin's legacy.